I'm Jorge Ribas for Discovery News, and this is me about to go into a cave for the first time. You, you've never been in the cave, so you have no yeah. idea what lies just on the other side of the entrance. Well, there could be a, a 20 foot or 100 foot pit right on the other side of this entrance. Or there could be a hibernating bear. We always like to send somebody. In. I heard a growl, but I wouldn't worry about it. I just go on in. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's go check it out. And yes, those grunts are real. Those aren't fake. Caving expert Mike Slay, an ecologist for the Nature Conservancy, gave me the rundown on how to stay safe underground. The first thing is to make sure that you've got a good helmet to wear in there because it's hard to tell, you know, how high close you are to ceilings and walls if you're going through crawls or you're walking along. So a good solid helmet will keep your head from getting busted open when you're going through some of these crawls. I have various kinds of knee pads and shin pads. We carry gloves with us. This keeps your hands from getting really dirty, but it also keeps you from touching formations or other things that the oils in your skin can cause those formations to stop growing. The rubber sides on the ant palm. <laughs> can you film that? If you're going to go caving and you're going to do this a lot, you need three sources of light with you at all times in case your main one fails, you have at least two backups because when you go into a cave, it's completely pitch black and if all your lights go out, you're not gonna be able to find your way back out. Because you never really experience darkness like you would in a cave. Let's until... do that right now. Let's try it. All right. No. Say you were a mile underground and all your lights went out and you would, you know, you'd done a hundred left turns and 60 right turns and you'd, you know, jumped across a ledge somewhere that had a 30 foot drop below it. How would you get back? Now that's spooky. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas. That was a good grimace. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh.